Five easy ways to make money online from your home in 2022 or 2023. Hello, welcome to my channel. Working from home is becoming a new culture globally, especially since the global lockdown of COVID-19 in 2020, where people could not go out for weeks. Hence, a lot of people had to learn how to earn money and uh, because you still need to pay bills even if you are not working and in this video i'll be showing you five easy ways yeah five easy ways i can assure you you will like it uh, through which you can make money online from your home number one online selling of items yes you have me right online selling of items a lot of items Online business activity is booming now uh, because some people rarely go to market or stores to buy anything. Rather, they order them online. You know, I have friends like that. Everything they have to order it online. Like, I oh got, I don't get time. So, these are people that will buy from you. And a lot of things can be sold online. Just think of anything. If you have no idea of anything you can sell online, please visit online marketplace or e-commerce sites and see what you think people may like to buy. Uh, for example, you can visit uh, Facebook Marketplace. It's a very good place uh, you know, to check out items and uh, see what people might need. You can check online stores like Gigi. Check them out. They have many categories. They have uh, kitchen items. They have jewelries. We have, uh, you know, gadgets. They have uh, uh, interior, home decor, a lot of things. Just look at you know things and like and people will be able to buy this thing uh visit jumi as well visit aliexpress visit ebay visit uh amazon uh and you see a lot of things and uh if you have any of these things you've noted one thing down look for suppliers online or visit markets yeah give it a try you don't have to start with many stuff or many of one item start with like five items for example if you buy uh let's say um one item for example a fruit blender at five thousand naira. let's say you buy a fruit blender at five thousand naira, uh, including delivery costs or your transportation to bring them home you may have like one thousand five to it as your own profit on reselling so you bought something at five thousand naira and you are reselling at six thousand five hundred naira. If you buy that five units of items at uh, five thousand naira, that's twenty five thousand naira, and you resell at uh, six thousand five hundred naira, then you'll be making seven thousand five hundred naira decently on those five items. I've done this a lot of times and uh, I've sold a whole lot of things, a whole lot of things. There was a time I bought uh, this BP machine. Uh, they call it thing, yeah, to check blood pressure. I just like hmm, the others who need this thing, and a lot of there are a lot of issues now with uh, hypertension, high blood pressure. So like, and there are this um, you know uh, health uh, advantage of uh, um, watching your blood pressure even from home. So I decided like, okay, let me get these things. I look for uh, you know price they are selling these things in Nigeria. And I discovered that uh, some are selling it as far as uh, 15,000 Naira, 12,000 Naira. And I got some from AliExpress. Uh, by the time I got them to Nigeria, they are like 5,500 Naira. That's the cost of one. And I got like five. And I was selling at 9,000 Naira. So you can imagine, I make like 4,000 Naira on those five stores. 4,000 in five places, that's 20,000 Naira. And these are stuff I bought like uh, 5,005 times five. You know what that is? So, that's something. So, if you are selling unique stuffs, you may even sell faster because of little competition as people may not be able to get them easily anywhere. I have a friend who is a guru in e-commerce. He will tell you that uh, what I like to sell most are things that you not find in Ojaoba, in Ibadan or something you find you will not find easily um, except you are very, very good at searching for things uh, in the market or from anywhere or from online you know so and even if you are searching online you may actually have to you know meet people like him so uh, i'll give an example a lady uh, who is a dentist let me call a dentist student yeah is an anticipating or a potential dentist from university of ibadan sent me a message uh, in my inbox on facebook about a few weeks ago asking if i could help her get buyers for something actually 
I've not seen before. She called it a dental blur or dental blurs. Uh, she got them imported from uh, one online stores overseas and they are in many packs and she just sent me a message, hi bro, can you help me sell this thing? Do you have any, probably you help me post it on your Facebook. Uh, if you, because you feel like, okay, you have some followers, you can help me post it on Facebook, probably I might get buyer. Uh, and before I could reply a chat the next day, she replied back immediately that she has gotten a buyer. And I was wowed. These are stores that you can sell faster, unique items. You can sell a lot of things, um, you know, um, you know, a lot of things that people use frequently from things like uh, gadgets, for example, hair pods, USB cables, it got points often, so you get a good one. And you sell to people power bank, design t shirts, beauty items, souvenirs, gift items, etc. And how do you go about this? You buy from the market and had your small profit, like I said, I did, and promote on social media. On Facebook, you have an account. On Instagram, you have an account. On TikTok, you have an account. You can be posting, you know, funny videos like, you know, comedy, things like, you know, a short video that you see. And uh, from there, you'll be gaining, you know, uh, followers. Then you'll be putting some of your own uh, marketing adverts, small, small. And before you know it, uh, you know, people will be reacting to your, you know, adverts and you'll be selling. Uh, people still buy stuff online, like I said, if you have a good product and deliver promptly and one person might refer others to you. You can even start with just 20,000 Naira. Yeah. And this does not stop you from doing all that things. You know, like I said, I do this with my pay job. And for this, you don't need CV, you don't need certificate, you don't need to be, you know, be a graduate. Just information, little capital to start and small threshold for business risks and that's number one i hope you learned something from this the second one that we'll be talking about is online supplies yeah there's a friend of mine everything he's always looking for is guy what can i supply i need a supply business it's a very good uh, business uh, that you can do online you don't have to be visiting companies like okay i want to supply you this there are a lot of things that people are searching online that you can supply them and this is another way to hand from home. Here, rather than you looking for end users or consumers, you are looking for uh, people who will buy in bulk or, you know, you will buy in bulk to resell to these people as retailers or resellers. Do you get it now? It's different from the first one. So, you can sell parts of things, cartons, bags, you visit markets, ask for the price they are selling these things in wholesale. Then you go back and ask how much uh people uh are willing to buy or probably how much are they selling in the market presently you just do your business research you know and from here you will see what you can buy and can supply to those resellers and um and you still make a good profit just look around just look around what can i supply is it usb cables if i supply usb cables can i make money how much are they selling it in the market how much are they selling to students on campus what if i get it from so 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 place your own is to do the research go around and uh, you don't have to you know um, you know sell to people offline probably in the, on the streets i tell people i have some stuff in my in my house that uh, the i don't even sell them to people around me i sell them to people online and they have seen people that are like, okay, if I want to be reselling, how much do you want to sell to me in wholesales and all that? So these are people that you can be targeted. Yeah. yeah, all you need to do is to find a distributor in a big market. Or big markets like Lagos markets, Onisha market, Kano market, Ibadan, that can supply you. Why you supply resellers who need to buy online? And when people want to buy some things now, the first place they usually check is Google. They have to search, you know. For example, now, after you are finished watching this video, just go online, go and search things. Go and search, where can I get this thing? You will see that uh, automatically, uh, Google will, you know, fill those questions like, these are questions that uh, people have been asking before. Mm -hmm. And you see some suggested uh, questions, uh, you know, people have been asking uh, via Google. It means people are actually searching for things. So if you can provide these uh, answers, uh, Obviously, you have your contact line, you have your phone number, people will contact you, sure. 
For example, if you have an advert that is placed on a website or a blog site on Google that I can supply stationaries like Oxford Mathematica set at 600 Naira per one and the minimum quantity to be ordered is 50 pieces. Do you get it now? Uh, when you buy actually at 400 Naira, so you actually bought that at 400 Naira but you are selling to resellers at 600 Naira. So you, may, you can make like 10,000 Naira on something you buy at 20,000 Naira. You, can, you just do the math. It is um, even much easier for people to rebuy or to come back if you are selling something like consumables. You are selling packs of snacks, you know, you know, a lot of things like planted chips, you know, for example. People may come and buy more frequently. And you can make more money that producers of these things are not even making. Yeah, you can have, I have a friend who is into, you know, production of chin chin. And she tells me that uh, supermarkets, uh, people who resell uh, in bulk are making more profit than, than, than her. You can buy loads of yam tubers from a farm or from a farm market and uh, take it to your house, upload pictures online, sell the numbers of tubers like 20 per sack and find a way to deliver this stuff uh, through intra or intercity buses or cars and you make your money. There are a lot of things like dry pomon, package roux, smoked meat and a whole lot of things that you can, you know, you can get supplier and uh, you'll be, you know, really supplying people. If you need any of those things I've mentioned in this video, you know, any item that you see in this video, at Wolsey's in Nigeria, or you need someone that can be supplying you consistently, uh, drop your comments uh, in the comment box and I will help you to research it. Or if I know someone, I can easily link you up. Yeah, that's what I do. So the third one is online marketing. Hmm. Online marketing. This is the third one. As an online marketer, you don't need to buy your own product. Yeah. With your own money to resell. What you do is just to market and resell other people's products for commission on sales. So you are not the one, you don't have anything, but you know people that have those things. Then you help them market, you make money if they resell. What you are doing is you are bringing buyers. For example, the seller will tell you, like, um, I sell 30,000 naira, but if you bring customer or buyer, I'll give you 5,000 naira. So, he, you know, you understand. Uh, the person will just collect 25,000 now, you hand 5,000 now, and nothing beats this. So, you might just like, okay, let me make my own 5,000 now, I don't care what you make. So, that's interesting, and uh, nothing beats this, and I do this a lot. It's another way of uh, handling for me online. So, if you have anything you are selling with good demand, yeah, if you are watching this, you have something you are selling already, that you feel people can still buy, you need more customers or you need more things, just message me, drop your comments in the comment box and I may be able to help you get buyers Why I get a cut on the sales. Yeah, that's how to get data and money for myself. Sometimes people even help customers to buy and have their own profits, you know, so, you know, uh, some will call this drop shipping. Like, okay, guy, I need uh, a bicycle. Okay, I will help you get the bicycle. They are selling at 12,000 Naira. Hmm. And actually, that thing is 8,000 Naira. So, you've added 4,000 Naira to it. The customer will pay you, yes, 12,000 Naira. And you pay you the, the seller 8,000 Naira. You just link the customer with the seller and you be the guy or the person in between you can you know market anything and this doesn't cost you anything beyond having your own phone and internet access of data like i said yeah you can market just anything from properties to fashion items to kitchen products to gadgets the more consistent you are the more people will reach out to you you know to help them sell their items you, know, you can do this full time online and still live fine, especially in real estate. Hey, real estate. I always open my mouth when I hear people you know, tell me, like, uh, I've sold 10 houses in 2022. Our friends like this. And you have the evidences. The most interesting part is that you can make money that will sustain you for the next six months in one deal. So look around for people in this area, they can mentor you. 
So these are stuff that you can do online. I, I actually met a lady who was actually introducing some houses to me. And she told me, like, come, uh, these are things that I do. And uh, she, I think she does this full-time as, uh, as a full-time housewife. And all she, you know, does sometimes is to, you know, do the online marketing one or two times in a week. You know, she, you know, she visits the sites and, uh, you know, if there's any inspection, she has uh, someone who's actually uh, working directly with the, you know, real estate company who will, make, who will take the customer to the place and uh, she will make uh, money. She was actually one of the first, um, first 10 uh, top sellers for the real estate company. And I was wild. So these are stuff that you can actually do and make money for yourself. So, like I said, the next one is online trading. Number four is online trading. Uh, the last few years, I've witnessed surge in the number of people who testify to becoming millionaires uh, for trading online. You know, online activities like forex, cryptocurrency. And uh, they do this using different platforms. You hear of that. FX or this thing, a lot of platforms like that. This is what some people do fully online. They trade online legitimately with their money, like five hundred thousand to one million, that are using foreign exchange values, and they live on this. And this can be very funny, you know, but it takes a lot of risk. Uh, this one can give you like five times of your money, like you are trading with one million, and suddenly you just the value of uh, you know this thing will just uh, go up, and you make like. 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, but again, you can lose all your money in a day because of instability. But people with penchants for taking risks and uh, um, people actually like online training still do this. So you can read more on this and find people who can train you. So uh, this uh, is also very, very popular uh, way of making money online for a lot of people. So number five is online skills monetization. There are also people who have one skill or valuable skill or skill sets and they use it to get clients online. You know, they use these skills, you know, apply for jobs online and they make money. This is the easiest and the most common that everyone can just do. Just like in number one when I talk about online selling of items. All you need to do is to learn something. Just look at anything that you feel people may be interested in, you know, to give you a job. How can you do this thing? And you can do it. Then you collect the job and you hand your money. To do this, you can create flyers, make videos and post them online. And this will draw a lot of, you know, clients uh, for people. A lot of things. Uh, skills like uh, in graphic design, translation from one language to another. If it is English to Yoruba. English to Igbo, English to Aousa, English, you know, to French, from French to German, from German to Chinese, from Chinese, you know, to Portuguese, you know, a lot of languages, you know, we have a lot of languages. So people can look for expertise like you to do the job. And uh, we also have writing. Hey, this is one, this is one way a lot of people have been making money. I will find time to talk about this. Uh, if you if you still watch some of my videos, I'll talk about writing of all forms, you know, content writing, copywriting, uh, online assignments, you know, a lot of these things. Video editing, you know, professional video editing using apps. You know, so some people don't even have big software; they use apps on Android and iPhones to edit videos and they collect their money. You know, you also have professional voiceovers. Yeah, this is what I also do. I do a voiceover in Yoruba, in English, you know, to make jingles, to make business adverts and all that. We have people who teach online on how to do things themselves. Teaching, yeah. Teaching is also very marketable online. You can teach just anything, how to do something on, on, your, on your own, do it yourself, you know, how to plate here, how to seal clothes tie. There are a lot of these things that you can do. Tech acts, you know, how you can, you know, record phone uh, without this, without mic, how you can, you know, a lot of, you know, tricks. There are a lot of features on your phone that I've seen people who don't have, um, you know, ring light and some people, you know, teach them how to put some lamps together the lamps they use in their house 
and it's as good as having a ring light and there are a lot of online classes like how to repair stuff, how to use softwares and apps among many others that are highly profitable these stuffs are highly profitable you can even do it by having a youtube channel and you make your money and for some of these people they deliver jobs after giving days to their customers like uh, okay uh, you know they transact from whatsapp you know exchange emails like okay i'll deliver this job so 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 and they collect their money after delivery or before delivery and some um you know different pain platform like a fever upwork naraland linkedin you know uh, in a lot of these places you can just these are places that you can uh, you know place yourself for visibility and people will contact you for jobs yeah and there are some people who don't uh, get money directly what they do is that they create websites and social online media pages or accounts where they make money uh, from traffic generators just like YouTube they have their content on YouTube they get monetized and YouTube will start paying them they have uh, huge followers on you know on, uh, on Instagram they become influencer they sell products for companies they sell products for you know uh, small business owners and sometimes sell uh, digital products like ebooks videos and all that uh, these are stuffs uh, that you can actually uh, do uh, online and make money. These are five practical ways to hand money online in Nigeria. Uh, there are some of these things that I've explained in my ebook or soft copy of a book that I wrote, which I call Making Small Money with Small Businesses in Nigeria. And for example, I talk about social media platform management, like a social media manager. Do you know you can make money by handling uh, uh, a page for? For a big uh, company or a small company, and all you do is just to be posting for them, uh, creates uh, you know account for them. There are a lot of companies that are looking for online presence. They know that people are making money from online. They know people are actually uh, you know selling online. So they just like okay, who can? It can be a welder in your neighborhood who actually have a lot of uh, works uh, that you can showcase online. Probably uh, meta guilds, probably meta doors, probably fabricated machines. You know, a lot of these things you can open, like uh, Omade Meta Works. You just open a social media account for them and you'll be making your money. I have uh, a detailed explanation in this book. If you need one, contact me on my number 070 I'll drop uh, the you know the contacts in the comments uh, in the description uh, box of this uh, video there are also stuff like talents and skills monetization there are a lot of people that are into skits making you know this comedy that's making money for a lot of people but they are doing it the wrong way they don't know how to monetize how to get you know uh, people to watch their videos how to get uh, a lot of people if you need um, an idea i can be able to uh, you know help through this book uh, this is uh, uh, a book i've written it has a lot of pages about 20 something chapters and um, you can get this for 2000 era yes 2000 era and a soft copy i can just send it to you on whatsapp or you know through your email so uh, you can make money through any part of these ways and uh, you don't have an excuse what you need is just ability to read to learn and uh, little money at hand i hope this helps someone if this is um valuable to you if you enjoyed this video why don't you like this video so so that uh, a lot of other people who are actually searching for stuff like this online can uh, watch and enjoy until next time when we shall be meeting for another interesting you know time out on this youtube channel when i will be bringing another interesting video on business idea uh, stay tuned to my channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button if you have not done so god bless you